So about a couple weeks ago, I was reacting to a video of NBA 2K. They showed up at the Apple keynote in Brooklyn where they were showing off the all new iPad Pro third generation. They were talking about how they such great graphics and they were showing off the new and improved NBA 2K mobile app. All right, uh, so it's sold out everywhere and I don't really wanna wait two months to make this video. I have an iPhone, let's get it. This is good, this is good. I can tell this is gonna be a great experience. Welcome to NBA 2K, what should I call you? How about Beamstar, I like that. Listen, man, it goes without saying, the Raptors is winning the Eastern Conference this year. Let's go ahead and choose those guys. <laughs> Let's get you some players for your my team. Just open up the packs. Nice. Can we get DeMar DeRozan? DeMar. DeMar. Am I playing my team right now? What is this? Oh, so you gotta put your players through drills to help improve them. I understand. Oh my God, why are we playing on broadcast? Is that the only way to play? All right, hold up, agent, relax. Dude, have some respect. Michael Jordan's trying to give me some tips. Tap and hold the shoot button to take a shot. Release the button when the line is at the top of the meter for better accuracy. Simple. Oh my God, I just half barred it. <laughs> take another shot. Even if you release the ball at the best time, it still might not go in. Come on, bro. Mike, stop playing with the sliders, my guy. All right, let's skip the fucking tutorial and get into the real deal. Sometimes you might want the game to be a little bit more automated. In that case, you can tap the manual button to switch it to auto mode. You can still pass, block, steal, and shoot. You can also switch it back to manual at any time. So basically, you never have to play defense. All right, hold on. They're putting me in, in, the, in the thing now. <laughs> Listen, the graphics actually aren't too bad. I'm, I'm kind of impressed. I'm gonna pass the ball. Hold on. There's no real way to do dribble moves. Yo, the, the graphics is pretty solid. Oh my God, what the? I did not think I would be sitting here and in any way. Okay, good game. Time to collect your awards. What are you doing? It was like two seconds. Wow. Uh, where do I start? Now this game itself is free to play, so I reckon that they have to make money somehow and they're gonna have some sort of my team currency they'll be selling for sure. And I mean, I, I can respect that, you know, it's not like a 2K19 $60 game, and then on top of that, you're adding all these microtransactions. In this case, the only way the game will survive is with microtransactions, the game is free. All right, so check this out. You unlock players in packs, and then you can develop the players, I guess by clicking the train button. Okay, let's just try it, man. Let's see how it goes. Hey, can I be honest with y'all? I was hopping on this thinking to myself, why are they spending time on this? First I get in and the graphics are actually pretty decent and this is on the iPhone. I reckon the iPad one will be even better. The controls aren't as abysmal as I thought they were gonna be. What am I doing? Do I just, oh, do I go get the ball or? Oh, I got a green! I shot a green, ladies and gentlemen! Yeah, so the thing that's gonna take the longest to get used to is definitely the joystick. I think I understand why they were advertising this game on the iPad Pro because on the iPhone, there just is not enough space on it to make it a usable experience. If I was headed somewhere and I had like 70% battery, I most definitely would not be wasting any of that battery on playing this game, for sure. But the iPad, you know, it's big and strong and beefy and it probably has a better battery life. And so if I was carrying one of those around and I was on an airplane or something where I really couldn't watch videos or do anything else productive with my time, yeah, I can see myself playing it, man. You might be wondering, Agent, how do they make money from an app like this? Now, my team is a very unique app in that you need very little effort to get a lot of reward for playing it. So all you have to do is like take 10 seconds out of a developer's day to add in a card. And then people spend millions and millions of dollars trying to get that card. And so for very little time, you get very high reward. And so if I'm creating a game specifically based off of microtransactions, yeah. It'll be a my team game. And on top of all of that, this is new. There's literally a button you can click to watch ads. I'm watching ads right now. And I reckon I'm gonna get some MT for doing it. It's pretty loud. I hope you can hear me over all the scruffuffle. They literally have a mode called season. The big rewards are at the finals. You get to the finals by winning regular season games and the conference finals. Thanks, Mike. I had no idea. The first game is already in progress, so get in there and win. You're telling me I'm late to our first game? Wait, pause. This is the whole season, game one, then the conference finals, then the, he was being very literal. 
There is nothing in between. <laughs> Equip a wristband to increase your player's chance of making three-point shots. Realistic. And also another way for them to make money. They'll add in new wristbands and ankle braces and Gucci belts and shit. <laughs> Yo, can we pause for a moment? These guys at NBA 2K are machines at making money. There is no avenue in the corner of the earth where there is a possibility to make money in which they're not already making money. It doesn't matter how bad the product is, still making money, man. It's crazy. All right, so let's check it out. Pass. Let's use the joysticks. Now this is what I'm talking about. The graphics are pretty solid. The dribble moves are very difficult to control because there is a lot of latency. Okay, let me pass it here. You can't really run plays or do anything like that. I'm fumbling with the ball a whole lot. Toledovic. I don't know why Toledovic was in the post. Like he was about to put in bare work in the low post. Okay, hold on. Pull up agent. Pull up agent. Half bar. Forwards. Forwards. Money! Yeah, this game was designed for iOS, but it was not designed for the iPhone. This small ass screen, it feels weird. I'm used to playing on giant screens and monitors. To play on a screen this small, I almost have to squint to see what I'm looking at. All right, hold on, we got some sauce here. Hold on, he's leaving me open. So oh, all white. Oh, come on, it should, this should be rookie difficulty. All right, let's try auto. We pushed it to auto mode, which I think means that they're gonna play defense for us. I can click the character I wanna use her and then just click the steal button. And then they're gonna do it all by themselves. What is the point of that? There is no point of playing a game where they do everything for you. I can literally keep my hands off of this and just click on the guy I wanna use her and spam the steal button. And I eventually will get the steal I was looking for. I <laughs> this is incredibly overpowered. I can definitely feel my phone starting to get hot. I rarely ever game on mobile devices because I'm not a fucking loser. Here we go, half bars. There's only two quarters and the game is over. So we won that game, which I think means that we can move on to the conference finals. <laughs> We made it, guys. We finished the season, ladies and gentlemen. We've made it. Now, let's make some Raptor history and pass the conference finals. Okay, probably put it in auto so I can spam steals. Okay, switch it back to manual. I'm getting pretty good at this, ladies and gentlemen. Kick it up one more time. Here we go. I got good positioning. Inside, yo. Oh, my God. I feel like it'd be really weird controlling on an iPad. I don't know. I don't think NBA 2K is meant to be played on anything other than a console. Even on the PC version of the game, they literally beg you to use a controller because they know the game is not optimized properly. Oh my god, everything is hitting. To use the guy closest to the ball, you just click defend. I kind of like that. So you don't have to actually click on the player. That makes sense. Contested. Brick. Vucevic. Oh, that's Mozgov on the rebounds. Bully, what do you think of this garbage ass game, bro? 2K knows 19 is broken. There's a lot of things wrong with it. But they chose to spend time on this, man. Touch my phone. Is it hot? <laughs> I feel like it's about to explode any <laughs> second now. Pass it up, pass it up, pass it up. Easy buckets on the fast break, come on now. He bumped into him. How, what, is it like one minute quarters? How does it end so quick? I played one quarter and it was over. Hold on, kick back, dude. Let's watch some ads. <laughs> oh, this is my one of my favorite ads. I've seen this one 12 times today. Wild, huge win, baby! One billion dollars. Okay, we're giving these guys too much ad play. Okay, okay. Yeah, chill. Sure. All right, so let's get off that for a second. We know you can get drills to upgrade your players. Apparently, they have leagues and seasons. Uh, let's check out the store, ladies and gentlemen. So there's a free pack available. Let's grab that. I love free stuff. One of my favorite things on earth is just free things. All right, man. Give me a gold player. That was the pack. <laughs> that was the free pack, man. Yo. So you can buy packs, you, you can, oh my God, they got coins? What? $140, who in their right mind? And you can buy leagues. Oh, these are the collectibles. I got the Eastern Conference one a few times already. Hey, honestly, if this was regular 2K, I'd be angry about stuff like this, but because the game is free to play, they have a little bit more leeway. They can act a little bit more recklessly when it comes to microtransactions, you understand? Because that's the whole way they make money. All right, if I was to rate this app, I would rate it a negative three out of 10 because I wouldn't spend my time on it. There was no way you would use your time to play an app on your phone if you were at home, right? You could just pop up your PS4 or Nintendo Switch or whatever console you have. So the only time you'd be playing this 
is if you were outside and you needed to play mobile. But in that case, the Nintendo Switch is like literally the perfect console. Or if you're old school, you can get yourself a Vita, right? So I'm just trying to think to myself, why would I play this game outside of video purposes? I guess I'm the wrong crowd for it. Maybe I just don't understand it because I don't play other mobile games at all. I don't know, man. I Listen, there's a lot of money to be made in the mobile department for sure. This app right here, it takes very little effort to continuously update. And if they get people hooked on it, coming back, coming back, coming back, they can stand to make a whole lot of money from the app. I understand why they did it. But here's what I'll say. Can we just bring those developers and get them to fix 2K19 real quick? And the second, the second, the second 2K19 is fixed, yo, we can bring them right back to start working on the app. I guarantee it. This app is a disappointment. <laughs> I watched Troy Dan's video and he was playing the Android version and it somehow looked even worse. Yo, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. If you missed the video, I was reacting to the announcement of all of this. I'll drop a link in a card above and in the description. I'm gonna catch you guys later. I'm out. Peace.